So since you fly Air Canada, them buying it back, buying Aeroplan back, is, is that good news for you? I suspect it will be. Yeah. Because I suspect that I will keep my points and be able to use them on Air Canada. Does the deal matter to you? The, the, does yes. this news matter to you? Yeah. Yes. How it come? does. Because whoever gives you the better deal that who you fly is with. I'm Melissa Nakavali at Toronto Pearson International Airport talking to Aeroplan members about a roller coaster ride of a deal between Air Canada and Aeroplan. Now, the two struck a deal, we're going back and forth for the past few weeks, now striking a deal for $450 million. Now, right now, there are very few details about how this will affect Aeroplan members who are looking to fly out of here anytime soon. The deal would see Air Canada pay for Aeroplan and also be on the hook for one. $1.9 billion worth of unused aeroplan points. So what does this mean for the consumer at the end of the day? Because <laughs> I'm sure people are probably wondering that, right? We hear all these numbers, so what does it mean for them at the end of the day? Well, I mean, we're, it's still to be determined what it means. It's, 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 it's kind of hard to know right now, right? At this point, Air Canada, if this deal goes through, Air Canada will be back in the fold with Aeroplan, which is good news for most consumers in Canada that have Aeroplan cards. Air Canada is the main carrier in Canada, so to the extent that Air Canada is part of Aeroplan, that's good for all of those Aeroplan members. It's continuity. It's certainty. It's something that they've gotten used to. Air Canada is also establishing its own rewards program in 2020. But what that's going to look like is still unknown. And whether Aeroplan points can slide into that loyalty program is also unclear. What does this mean for, for the point system as a whole? Let's say if you've collected, right. you know, X number of points, right. does that still stand or do you think, you know, They'll be devalued in a sense. Well, what we don't know is what uh, when Air Canada's program comes in and when this deal, new deal, takes effect, whether the miles uh, redemption will stay the same. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, most round trip tickets in North America with Aeroplan are about twenty-five thousand points. Going forward, it might be more. We just don't know at this point. Now, there are issues about what will happen to the deal that was originally negotiated with Flair, Porter, and Air Transat. One expert tells me there might not be so much good news for them, and I'll have more on why coming up. I'm Melissa Nakavli at Toronto Pearson International Airport. I'm talking to Aeroplan members about a roller coaster ride of a deal between Air Canada and Aeroplan. Now, the two have been going back and forth for some time now, now striking a deal of $450 million. And while this could be potentially good news for those that use this airport, it might not be so fair, favorable for those that fly out of Pearson, a Porter rather. It looks at this point that that is dicey, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't had anything definitive again, uh, but the comments that we're getting seem to suggest that uh, Porter uh, and Transat and Flair may not be part of the deal going forward. If you were hoping to use your points on Porter, on Flair Airlines or Air Transat, I don't think this is very good news. Nobody is saying anything uh, directly. It's all very legal speak and gobbledygook right now. But the comments seem to be suggesting that, this, that, those, that those deals that were made with Porter Transat and Flair Airlines are going to be negotiated over the next couple of months and that those, those may not go forward. Executive Vice President of Porter Airlines, Michael DeLuce, issued a statement today saying Porter recognized from the outset that Aeroplan may be purchased prior to its agreement taking effect in July 2020. If the consortium enters into a final definitive agreement with AMIA, uh, we will then need to be in a position to comment on the impact of Porter's agreement at that time. Now, the shareholders still need to vote on, on this agreement before it's actually in place. But we do know that the largest shareholder of the company has already said that they're in favor of this.